Hello, Amanda. I'm Pat Chappell. This is Kirsty. We're from Vice Unit in London. Now, I want you to know that you're not in any trouble. Is that understood? And the police here tell me that you're a prostitute. Is that right? The man who did this to you, was he a punter or was he a pimp? Have you got a pimp, Amanda? Was he a punter then? Amanda, was he a punter? I don't want to waste anyone's time. I just want to go home. You're not wasting anybody's time, right? You're not wasting anyone's time. Take as long as you want. Man. You said man. 
He was men. How many? Where was this, Amanda? Where did it happen? The prison. What happened? Did someone take you in? Who? <laughs> prison staff? Prison officer? Do you know who? Do you know any names? <laughs> and you're sure this girl's not lying? She was found, Governor, in an extremely distressed state outside your prison. The CCTV video for that night, gatehouse, corridor, yard, all wiped. In fact, it seems that they've been tampered with on more than one occasion, suggesting a pattern, suggesting that this is not an isolated incident. I see. Is she all right? Hmm. But is this a vice matter? I wouldn't have thought rape was your patch. She's a prostitute. Pimps are my patch, even if they're hiding behind uniforms. Now, someone must be paying for the services of these prostitutes. Take a fair number of people to smuggle a tom into a prison, even if your staff are just turning a blind eye. Yes, I suppose you're right. And they're not ordinary prisoners, are they? No. Hmm. The implications aren't lost on me, Inspector. So we want to go in and sort it out. I suppose the next question is, who looks most like a sex offender? <laughs> this is quite an operation, boss. You sure about it? You didn't see her, Joe. Well, maybe that gives me some distance. Well, it is pretty sick, isn't it? Sexual services for convicted nonces. Yeah, but surely if we gave her some photos of some of the staff, she might recognise them. The woman's been traumatised, Joe. And if all these blank tapes aren't an accident, she's not the only one this has happened to. Just when I was thinking about taking holiday. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> You'll be recognised. I don't see why. We deal with pimps and gangsters, not rapists and child molesters. Anyway, we can run a check. This is what you've been waiting for, Joe. It's your chance to take over. Once I'm inside, you'll be running it. But that mean we have to call him Inspector? Acting Inspector. Wow. One of you acting Inspector, the other acting pervert. Okay. Okay. Right, your big problem's gonna be communication. You'll have a phone card so you can check in every day. Of course, your calls will be monitored, so you need a girlfriend, someone to visit. I'll arrange a check on all current inmates, make sure none of them knows you. I want a fake CPS report, get one from files, make sure it's authentic. So, who's gonna play his girlfriend? Sorry, this isn't... Exactly, cordon bleu. Hope you've memorised that CPS report, Pat. Yeah. You have a 14 year old girl, though, yeah. It'd have to be something like that. Oh, the dark secrets in his past, you wouldn't know to look at him. Who's having pasta? Not looking forward to the prison shrink. Well, I'm sorry to say, but there are several. I suppose it's better than just kicking them out on the street, though. Please. Thank you. The head psychologist, a woman, Pat. Meat. Shouldn't we have a toast? No. Do I have to be 
with his girlfriend. No, last time I was his girlfriend, I had to snog him. <laughs> See why I couldn't be his daughter? Hell, go for granddaughter. I'm sure snogging is forbidden on prison visit. Well done, John. Cheers. Do you understand what happened to you today in court? Yes. And do you know why you're here? Yes. Bag it. Get the cuffs off him. Hi, Miss Campbell. Have your belongings in there. Cigarettes. Lighter. Four pound twenty pence in change, one watch, wallet, keys, indigestion tablet, one paperback book. Can I keep the book? And photograph. Right. Pop over here in sunshine and we'll take a picture. We'll just come that way. Stand there. Jacket off. Tie off. Shoes off. Trousers. Shirt. Socks off. Underwear off. At least you've got a cell, a room to yourself. You'll find that privacy is your most treasured possession. Keep it tidy, you've been told the rules. It's not the Hilton, but if you at least show willing, 
Now, you anything you want to ask? Yeah. Can you lend me your keys? I'm George. Pat. Say something else. What? Scottish. Glasgow, right? Got it in two? Two words. <laughs> Very impressive. First time inside, eh, Pat? Now you freaked out. We all have to begin with, mate. This place isn't so bad, you know. Screws are all right. Food shit, of course, but you know. Oh, and now you're completely surrounded by perverts. <laughs> she your wife? Girlfriend. Very nice. She's a bit of all right, isn't she? You're gonna have to be your daughter, you dirty old sod. <laughs> Pervert humour, mate. It's, uh, it's like gallows humour, but you know, that's about death. You'll get used to it. Got any toothpaste? What? Toothpaste. So. Ah. Uh, that's better. Supplied with razors. They're not for shaving your legs. Yep, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Show some self respect. Shave. Good one, I'll let you through this time. No physical contact. been told off for not shaving. Well, Trump looks out this year. Well, you look lovely. I've got to do this. Look, I've got to do it. Please. Please just understand me. What you can do. Look, you do that. You do that. Have you made any friends yet? No. Just prisoners so far. We need you to sign your statement, Amanda. But don't you want to help us? I don't remember that song. It's a blur. Well, you remember what's in your statement, don't you? What's the problem? 
Amanda, to put away the men that did this to you. We need your testimony. We are doing this for your sake. Yeah? Well, I'd rather forget about it. And when it happens to somebody else, you're going to forget about that? Are you trying to guilt trip me? Don't try and guilt trip me. Don't come into my home and make me feel like a criminal. Who do you think you are? I'd like you to go now. So what do you think the boss will have to say about this? I think he's got enough to worry about, don't you? Look, we've got a case to prove, with or without Amanda. Let's let Pat get on with his job. So, uh, we better not tell Cheryl either. The worst thing can happen is the people you love abandon you. You two, come on, finish up. Psychologist. My name's Jake. I'm Steve. Bob. I'm Pat. Terence. John. Lillian. Sam. Aaron. Sean. Robbie. And I'm George. We've been introduced already. You can relax today, Pat. Just listen if you want. Okay. Last time we were talking to Erin. If he doesn't want to talk, he doesn't have to talk, miss. Well, maybe we should start with you today, George. Sure, why not? Let's try to stay focused, shall we? Uh, I'm always focused. Got it off the internet, along with some juicy, juicy pics. You know, we really should be more carefully monitored. <laughs> Just kidding. You should read it, love. You might learn something. George? It's new research, miss. A survey in America shows that sexually abusive behavior was nonsense. We run in families, apparently. I know that, George. Abusers have often been abused. Abused? you know about that, would you? Psycho babble. You just don't admit it's natural. Part of the cycle of nature. Take off as a Shepley here. No, we're talking about you, George. Oh, that's handy. I mean, you know, just as an example, me. Yeah, I'm a pervert. A nonce. A beast. Oh, you might not use the word, miss, because it's so on PC, but it's basic. Basic drives. We're just animals, apes. Ever watch a chimpanzee shagging, miss? Back to the point. This is the point! Officer Shepley here is 98% chimpanzee, same as the rest of us. Just like me, he's been designed by evolution into this animal that just wants sex. It's genes, right? Just genes. Tell us truthfully, officer. We all want the truth, don't we, lads? You see some young bird. You know, nice round tits, fertile. Like a ripe peach. I won't tell you again. Around girls, your thing, officer. Now there's an evolutionary conundrum. George. He's got a point, though, miss. Suppose we're not sick. Suppose we're doing what just comes natural. Well, it ain't our fault then, right? So what's the point? You want to come back here again and again? Prison? No. Well, pray to God he's not right then. Why don't we start with you today, Sean? What about Pat? I had to talk on my first day. Yeah, what about you, Pat? The 
Don't be shy, mate. We're all nonsense together in here. <laughs> Where did you go poking you shouldn't have? I think Sean's memory is playing tricks on him. You don't have to say anything today, Pat. Well, uh, I'm not. A nonce. I mean, no offence, but, um... I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Denial. Let's hope it's not genetic, shall we? What did they say you did, Pat? Sexual assault on a 14-year-old. A boy. Do you want to go on a report? I thought this is a democracy! Why was it, Pat? No, girl. That's a relief, eh? But your girlfriend would have been a very forgiving woman. Like Aaron here. His girlfriend's very forgiving. You want to know how I feel? I feel like a piece of shit. I'm the shit you can't wipe off your shoe. Anything beautiful, come near me, I make it dirty. It's just this smell. The air gets bad. Bad so you can't breathe, it's just this stench. It was a beautiful thing then, mate. Tell us about it. You know, Beautiful little thing. The beautiful little girl. She, she was six, wasn't she? she? She was six. in here, mate. You're gonna love it. So what's the story with them? Officer Shapley. You know, Sam. Seems like a nice enough guy to me. Yeah, but he's not. Trust me. <laughs> what about him, Sam? Right. You're a lucky bloke, Pat. You know your girlfriend's sticking by you. It must be hard for her. No, she can't be your first, though. No, man like you must have had quite a few. No, she's, um... She's rebound material. Do you know what I reckon? The love of your life. She was the one before, um... Oh, that girl, what was her name? Cheryl. Cheryl. Nice name. But she's like, um... She's the dessert after a long, satisfying meal. Except the meal got up and walked out on you. Broke your heart. That's what I'm thinking. And then long comes young Cheryl. And you wouldn't jump in it, eh? But she's not the real thing, is she? I mean... She's not your soulmate. What did you do before? I'm special. I'm the, um, the 14 year old girl. Who is she? 
to Carl. I know the school, mate. Oh, something you didn't have, yeah. Everything was going so nicely, you know, the woman of your dreams, your own business, and then it all falls apart. <laughs> I feel for you, mate. But you brought it on yourself, you know. How do you mean? One little mistake. No. No, an accumulation of little mistakes starts, you know, way back. It's like your life is this one big balloon. And you're holding the pin in your hand. But you're a man. Well, it's all programmed in your genes, you see. They rise up from your evolution of history, grab all your hand, force it towards your balloon, and then BAM! All by yourself. I'm not the girl. <laughs> the woman of your dreams. What did you do that made her hate you so much? You heard what happened to you last night. What do you know about it? Do you, um, do you know what's going on here? Hi. Visit. What about me? Not yet, mate.
something awful. Awful. But I don't know. That woman. And I was helpless. Somebody was being hurt somewhere and there's nothing I could do about it. Worse than useless here. Could do with a drink. No physical contact now. Please. Settle, so you've got to get me out of here. Cheryl, isn't it? Yeah. Can I have a word? What? I'm, I'm in a hurry. Well, take a minute. I've got a proposal to make. If you care about your man, you'll listen hard and think about what I'm going to say even harder. Because if you don't, I can't answer what will happen to him. more a prostitute than I am, Amanda. This is a serious offence, lying to police, wasting police time. I was afraid. For yourself or for Aaron? Have you got any idea what could happen to him in there? I think it's about time you told us the truth, don't you? We need to know, Amanda. Unless you want us to press charges. Well, that wouldn't be very good for your kid now, would it? I was raped. Gang rape, that hasn't changed. I've not lied to you about that. But I couldn't have you going in there with steel cap boots and getting Aaron hurt, could I? They threatened to hurt Aaron, so you agreed to go in, right? And then what? A screw met me at the gate. Officer Shepley? and took me inside. There were five of them. Prisoners and two screws. That one you mentioned and another one. Aaron didn't know it was going to be <laughs> It wasn't his fault. He didn't want to be there. He's, he's just not well, yeah. And I want him to get better. Everybody's calling him a nonce, but he's not. He's never done anything to hurt his kid. He loves Vicky. We're gonna take care of Aaron. If you help us, tell us everything. I'll make sure Aaron doesn't suffer any more than he has already. But you can't see him for a while. That's one of the conditions. I've got to see him. If I don't see him, he won't be able to cope. <laughs> I'm the one that's keeping him sane. Now, if you want what's best for Aaron, you'll do as we say. And we got a job to do, Amanda, and we're going to do it. Now, Aaron could be in very, very serious trouble. If you want to protect him, you'll do as we say. Psychologist. What 
he wants to get out, he should. It's doing his head in, Joe. Look, we've just got the information we need and the means to get the proof, and you want to pull out now? Come on, Cheryl. You're just thinking for yourself. What, and you're not. What's that supposed to mean? You know, I'm not so sure you don't rather like having the boss out of the way. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Come in. Hi, Pat. Thanks. Should we sit down? How are you today? He's acting, Cheryl. Of course he looks rough. He's just doing a good job. Look, if Pat pulls out now, we have got nothing. Or has this slipped your attention? Certainly won't slip his. He wants out. And you can't blame him. He doesn't have to crucify himself for everything. But you wouldn't. No, he's... he's tough. He can do it. What if he can't? Are you saying that Pat could screw this up? Because if that's what you are implying, Cheryl, I think you're bang out of order. In your defence, you say she looked older. How do you feel about that now? That it wasn't much of a defence. Do you think it's just me you're suspicious of? Or is it anyone in authority? You never denied you had sex with her. You don't admit you assaulted her, do you? A year or so older would have been perfectly legal. Is that what you think? I'm asking what you think. <sighs> Can I ask you a question? Mm. Do you think you know, what you do in here, do you think it works? I mean, does it ever worry you that men might just say exactly what you want to hear? What do I want to hear? Don't play games with me. And don't ask me why I think you're playing games. Okay. Men say they're sorry for what they've done, but you believe they're lying. You, no, I know they're lying. Most of them. What I want to know is, do you believe them? I'll believe someone who says they regret what they've done, but I don't believe you're innocent. That's what you mean. Is it? My turn again. Who'd you miss most? Let's give her a name. Even if it isn't her real name, it's easier if we use a name. Jane. You feel you've ruined her life. Yes. Yes. That's why I deserved it. To come here. Sorry, Billy. Uh, come on, we'll see you. Congratulations, Inspector. What for? My staff aren't hiring prostitutes at all. They're targeting women at visits. How'd you know? Show was approached about. By Sam Shepley. It's a result. We'd never have got this without you here. We need to send Cheryl in with a wire, Pat. 
get some recorded evidence, evidence of intent that we can play to a jury. I'm not happy about this at all. I'm not happy that I can't speak to you directly. No offense. You finding this tough? No. So, looks like I'm staying here then. Girlfriend, is it? She's not going to visit me anymore. I just phoned and she said she couldn't visit. Why am I such a terrible person? Maybe you're not. Oh, I am. Or would you know you're innocent, you said? Not a nonce like me. We're all of us guilty of something. Got any kids? Hmm. She said she'd always stand by me. Why should she? How could she? She'll take my kid and leave me. I'm so ashamed. I just stood there, you see. Did nothing. I've got the cowardice gene. Is this something to do with Officer Shapley? I should have done something. It was a straight enough choice. Do what I was told. Or say no. I'm a man, I can take it. God knows I've got the equipment. Always getting me in shit. But right then, she was the one with the balls. I did everything I was told. Hurt her. Hurt her so they won't hurt me. I am. I'm a terrible person. How could she love me so much? To do that. For me. most in all the world. I want a razor blade.
Aaron. Aaron. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 to be angry. It's a very sad day. And I give you my word, there will be a full investigation. What? Now, now! We'll be asking for statements from all of you so we can get to the bottom of this. So you can pass the buck. Yeah. This wasn't anyone's fault. Wasn't it? Aaron should have been in the hospital, not stuck in here. Maybe. What is that bitch psychologist? What's she gonna say about it? Yeah. You tell yourself if you were told week in, week out, you're a freak. The embodiments of evil and all that shit! No one's ever said that, George! You shut your mouth, cocksucker! We're what you dream about, but I haven't got the guts for. And you know it. There's only one difference between Aaron and him there. Aaron got caught! You aren't just over here if he behaved himself, which he would have. Make a fresh start. He loved his kids so much, you know. How could he do this to us? The thought of Vicky, of watching her grow up, that was going to get him through this. I thought, I thought if I could just show him how much I loved him, then he'd see that it was worth something. But it didn't happen like that, did it? They all thought he was a monster. And that's what he thought in the end. That's what he's dead. Gotta do is open her legs a few times, Pat. You will see it my way. It's not much to ask, is it? I'm not considering the alternative, you could get beaten up, trust me. What she's gotta do is it is what evolution built her for. You do love her, don't you, Pat? Your channel. Of course I love her. See that? All them. All those beasts. If she doesn't come, Pat, do you know what they'll do to you? I've just got to click my fingers. You know it's true. This, Pat, is my little army. This is all you're doing, isn't it? Aaron is dead because of you. Oh, you too, mate. Now you'll do exactly what I say. And if I don't? Oh, but you will, mate. The time for being a hero's long since gone, Pat. 
like everyone else, you've got to face up to what you are, the frightened little man you are, otherwise you'll never, ever understand. I understand that. Why that woman? The one who broke your heart. Why she hates you. And why this is all you deserve. I don't want you to get hurt, Pat. It'll be all right. How can I ask you to do this? Trust me. It'll be all right. Just along this corridor, here, is a prison chapel, where chaplain needs a lick of paint. Now I've worked out a cover story with the governor, we will be working in there as decorators. Now, needless to say, we are assuming that no one can be trusted. Yep. You're all night? No, just till we've finished. You got a ministerial visit here or something, ain't you? Kitchens. What are you going to do? I can't believe this sort of thing. It's okay, they're in the kitchens. <sighs> we 
excited, Pat. I know we are. <laughs> oh, Pat! Admit it! You're gonna love this. <laughs> you too, love. If you just let yourself go. Let's get on with it, George. What are they gonna do to me? And if you don't mind what we ask? What are you gonna do? Call for help? Think about it, love. You won't impress the cops much that you came near of your own free will. Do this, George. Learn to be patient, boys. You'll enjoy life more. <sighs> Looks like you're going last, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think, though, doesn't it? Such nice girls. Girls will do anything to stand by your man. You! What should they pay you, you bastard? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> but, well, she means nothing to you, does she? Huh? I mean, if she did, well, she wouldn't be here now, would you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do something for me, will you, Pat? Imagine this isn't Cheryl. Imagine. She's the woman that really loved you. Struggling. Scared. She could be, you know. Somewhere out there tonight. She's struggling. I'm scared. And you can't protect her. Oh, you blew it, mate. Oh, God, you blew it. She's out there facing this bad, bad world, and it's all your fault. What's gonna happen? It's eating you up, isn't it, Pat? And what you did to her, what you did that made her hate you. You know, you're the type who always hurts the people who love him. Oh, and you, you want to be loved, Pat. Oh, you're too dangerous. Afraid, worthless and dangerous. So you see, Pat, the real difference between me and you isn't that much. It's just that you hate yourself much more than I do. <laughs> Look at you! You are a defeated, worthless old man. <coughs> and you can start by taking off your clothes now! You can't afford to do this! Hold it down, lads. Looks like we got resist it.
Four prison officers arrested already. I mean, well, couldn't have gone any better. Shep is a bit scared to talk right now, but when he does talk, I think this is going to be a really big haul. Well, I think he's scared a little bit more than just us. There's another. Oh, I think half the bloody prison staff are involved in this one. I thought there are bad men, evil men, and there are innocent victims. Even people you think are bad, actually, they're victims. Someone has to protect the innocent. But there are people that you can't protect, aren't there? And there are people who, no matter how you try, you can't protect them from. What would you do? In here, Randolph is king. Couldn't be happier. Take his kingdom away from him. Stick him somewhere where he's nobody. Wipe that bloody smile off his face. Throw the nonce to the wolves, you mean? If you want. With respect, that's very much a policeman's perspective. Your whole job is to troll the gutter and pick up the rubbish. Then give it to someone else to deal with. Give it to me. There's nowhere for me to pass the buck. Do you really think you could change a man like Randolph? Put him safely back on the streets? It's all very well, your noble ambition. A man has died. A child is without a father. There's got to be some payback. Didn't you ever have noble ambition? Send him in. Sit down there. Hello, Pat. You still here, are you? I thought your daughter. You've enjoyed it here, haven't you, George? Laughing at us beating the system. Best fun you've ever had. Yeah, but it's too easy, you know. Some people think men like you should be castrated. Hanged, maybe. They think you're the scum of the earth. Well, I game you mean. Oh, he'd like to hurt me. Do it himself. Take the knife and cut them off. It's nice of you, Governor, to ask him here to witness your revenge. Thoughtful. I'm giving you a choice, George. I recommend that you stay here if you want. On condition, of course. The condition is that you accept my help. No guarantees, you have to let me help. But maybe we can start to make it possible for you to live a normal life. Put an end to the fear and the loneliness. It's up to you, but I won't make this offer again. I hope I meet an untimely end. Some gang of tosses who think they're all such nice blokes because they're only armed robbers or something. Something decent and homely like that. Gangsters. Pimps. They'll catch me in the shower and beat my brains out. Is that really what you want, George? Yeah! Sick as sick. Ah! Thank 
and you. You'll remember me. Forever. You'll dream about me. Won't you? And every time you think of her, you'll think of me. Come on, out. I'm off home to spend the weekend with my family. Do the same, Inspector.